afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our today's Brown Bag session. Today, we proudly present you Aida Mamadova. She's an associated professor at the Kanazawa University in Japan. And today she's talking about the intergenerational dialogue inside Japanese biosphere reserves. Thank you, Aida, for being with us. And we are going to ask you the exciting question, how can we use intergenerational nexus to create dialogue between generations in biosphere reserves? We're looking forward to your answer. Thank you for being with us. And the floor is yours, Aida. Thank you very much, Monica. It's my pleasure to be with you all and to present our uh, project of intergenerational dialogue that we are doing in Japan. I just uh, jump to the slides right now. Just give me a second. I hope you can see it all. Yes, the title yep. is Intergenerational Dialogue uh, Inside Japanese Biosphere Reserve. And, uh, you know, this topic is like, uh, what is intergenerational? So it's like, um, in Japan, we consider that the young people and elderly are somehow like separated and they are not in a one group. We look, we look on Sorry, them Sorry, Aida, the, yes. the slide is empty. I cannot see anything on this slide. Okay, let me and now share I can see the picture. Oh, now you could see. Okay, let's, let's share again. Can you see it now? Yes, but not in presentation mode. I can see the slide, but it's not presentation mode. Into the presentation. You cannot see it now. The slide is empty, but we you do not we need we just leave it like this. No presentation mode. That's okay. okay let me start this. And now as well? I can see the first slide. Sorry. And what about this one? No, no pictures, it's, it stays empty. And this one again? Now there comes the text, yeah. And now you can see the text? Yeah, text. Good, okay. So let me go like just explaining with the text like, um, the issues, I would like to start with the issues inside, like, as I say, like, what is intergenerational issues between uh, young people and el elderly? So first, like, uh, let me tell you about the issues inside Japanese biosphere reserves. We have, like, depopulation and aging issues, less job opportunities. Uh, all biosphere reserves in Japan are in remote and hardly accessible areas. Another one is invasive species. Also, global warming creates lots of issues for us. And uh, no young followers and no young generations are interested to follow uh, the tradition that uh, elderly people were uh, used to do. And of course, there's a lack of awareness in local people about what is biosphere reserve or why we should preserve nature and why we should like uh, continue and uh, uh, continue uh, to to hold the problems that uh, UNESCO is uh, is um, applying us, and of, of course one of the main like biggest issue that I would say is ineffective governance as well inside biosphere reserves. So this is the main issues like uh, general issues for the biosphere reserve, and also we have an issue for young people and intergenerational dialogue. Like elderly people inside uh, Japanese local areas, they feel very isolated from the modern world. And they feel like a powerless and have no motivation to face the external changes. And on another hand, the young people in Japan, uh, they have less interest in communities and they feel no responsibility for the issues uh, that uh, have been created by local people or uh, they, they say that we are not responsible for these issues which we did not create. So there is lots of like miscommunications and misunderstanding between young people and the elderly people in Japan. So 
So at our university, we decided to solve these kind of issues and we created, this is, this is a map of our university. It's uh, called Kanazawa University, it's just next to the Sea of Japan. And, uh, the mountain that we're working, it calls Mount Hakusan by Sphere Reserve. And uh, in this map, you can see, I hope you can see the map. I'm just talking, so I hope you can see it. So great. You can see this is the area of the Hakusan Biosphere Reserve. And we just dispatch our students to the some part of the area for them to practice a lot of activities together with, uh, with elderly people. And they are doing different activities in the tourism sectors, in the forestry sector, agricultural sectors, uh, tourism, uh, sorry, tourism, I talk like uh, also the sectors for the constructions and uh, uh, you can see here as well the small sector for the gasoline producing, like not, not a gasoline, but oil, 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 petroleum or oil, oil station. So different, st different um, sectors and different stakeholders are involved in our program and uh, we include not only uh, young students but also uh, the elderly people to learn together from uh, uh, between each other and uh, to deal um, what can they do together to deal with the regional issues and develop the sustainable development goals like SDGs. So the program, uh, I stop up uh, my slide here uh, because I know we have limited uh, time to get the presentation. Uh, in our program, we started uh, this kind of activities from 2015. And at the beginning, it was really hard to reach local people and uh, get the access for the remote communities because they, they, they were really fearing feeling reluctant to accept students. But uh, with small, small steps and uh, with like involvement of different stakeholders, uh, after three years, they were like um, willing to accept students at the inside their villages. Uh, and uh, uh, surprisingly from our side, they asked our they ask us to recruit students and they ask uh, our sites to make uh, like applications and uh, make a call for the students to participate uh, inside the activities inside the village as well. So yes, uh, we still have a lot of issues between younger generations and elderly, how to work together, but as I say, Slowly, slowly, we're doing step, 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 steps to, to work together and promote the local, uh, to improve the life, livelihoods between local generations and younger, younger population as well. Okay, so this is a really brief presentation of activities, what I'm doing. Uh, I'm looking forward for the questions. And uh, yes, Monica, I give the floor to you will ensure nature conservation in the 21st century. Be part of the new four semester part-time master program. Corinthia University of Applied Sciences.